Installation Guide for the Brinks Commercial Emergency Exit Device BC40010 This exit device is UL305 compliant, NC Grade 1, and ADA compliant, and can be installed on right or left hand single doors, 28 to 42 inches wide, or double doors with a mullion, 30 to 42 inches wide, and with a door thickness between 1 and 3 quarters to 2 inches. If your door is less than 36 inches, you will need to cut the rail and sliding shim. For doors between 30 and 35 inches wide, cut the rail to leave a minimum of 1 and 3 quarters inches from the end of the rail to the edge of the door jamb. For doors between 28 and 29 inches, remove the sliding shim and cut the rail at the line on the back marked max cut limit and use the provided small sliding shim. Here are the tools required for installation. The exit device comes with everything else you will need. Preparing the door. From the push side of the door, first measure 40 inches from the floor and mark the door near the door frame to establish your center line. Place the provided template into position by using this small cutout window to align it to your indicated center line, then secure with tape. Use a hammer and punch to mark the center of each hole. Note, if using the exit device on a security door with no outside access, do not mark or drill the hole for the cylinder. Once the holes are marked, drill pilot holes on the jam and door. Using the chart, select the appropriate drill bit based on the type of door material and fastener required. Be careful not to drill through to the opposite side. Only drill the pilot hole for the cylinder through the door. Next, drill a 1 and 1 fourth inch hole for the cylinder. Note, drill from both sides to avoid damaging the door. Using the established pilot hole on the pull side, finish drilling the hole for the cylinder. Your door is now ready to install the exit device. Installing the exit device, to install the cylinder, first insert the cylinder into the cylinder collar, then into the finger pull plate. Place the cylinder assembly into the hole on the pull side of the door. Use the cylinder mounting plate on the push side and fasten with the two S8 mounting screws. Secure the mounting plate to the door by drilling two small pilot holes and secure with either the two S9 or S10 screws depending on the type of door. Make sure the finger pull plate is straight and fasten with the S7 self-drilling screw. With the tailpiece horizontal, align the tailpiece receiver on the back of the head chassis to the cylinder tailpiece and insert until the push bar is flush with the door. Align the screw holes of the head chassis with the mounting holes on the door and secure with one S1 or S2 screw at the top. Using a level and the push bar as a guide, rotate the end of the exit device until level. Insert the end cover mounting bracket and mark the holes. Then drill your pilot holes for the bracket. Reinsert the end cover mounting bracket into the rail and align with the new pilot holes. Then fasten with two S1 or S2 screws. Now, using three more mounting screws, finish securing the head chassis. Test the operation. Fit the head cover onto the head chassis and fasten with the two small S11 screws. Attach the end cover using the S12 screw. Installing the strike, align the slots of the strike using the previously drilled holes and align the outside edge of the strike with the outside edge of the door stop. Secure using two S1 or S2 screws. Close the door to verify that the latch extends properly. If you need more clearance or if there is too much play with the door, adjust the strike left or right as needed. After installation is complete, test the operation to be sure the door opens and closes correctly. 
Finally, if necessary, using the provided filler plate, cover the latch bolt hole on the door frame and secure using the appropriate screws. To extend the life of your exit device, it is recommended to lock the push bar in the open position when the door is in continuous use. To lock, hold the push bar down, insert the dogging wrench into the hole on the push bar and turn counterclockwise. To unlock, while holding the push bar down, use the dogging wrench and turn clockwise to release the push bar. Your new Brinks commercial exit device is now ready for use.